Yo, what's up everybody? The Dragalia Digest livestream dropped last night and let me tell you guys, it was absolutely nuts. For those that did not see it, well, I'm gonna break it down for you guys. Well, not all of it. The stuff that has already been updated in the game, I'm going to leave out. But if you want to see the full video, I will have the link to the full video in the description below. So first off, for 10 days, we are going to be getting some really good rewards daily. Some of the notable rewards include 5,000 Wormite, which is equivalent to at least 40 summons. Mini Midgar, which apparently grants 35 strength to any element, which is pretty interesting. 100,000 free Eldwater, which is insane. You'll probably have to spend a good portion of that for the new tier six mana circles. Then there's a free Sunlight Stone, some Champion's Testament, and a free five star dragon voucher which by the way if you just started this game i would personally recommend using that five star dragon voucher on leviathan i think he stands down one of the best dragons in this game he's very solid all around he has a good skill that inflicts bog really useful for flame content and for off element mccurl gauntlet he also has a very strong dragon form in terms of his attack combo and you can use him to cheese high bruntilda and void agni Actually, I guess you can't cheese those two because you want to have form if you're new, but whatever. Regardless, Leviathan is really solid. And anyways, lots of great rewards, especially for new players. And if you have any friends looking for a new mobile game, tell them about Dragali Loss. Tell them to download it and get all of this free stuff. In addition to these items, we are getting 10 free summons every single day for 10 days. So a total of 100 free summons. This is just incredible, side games is out of their minds, but I kind of saw this coming. Not really surprised by this because Grand Blue Fantasy frequently gives out hundreds of free summons for their big events as well, so yeah, this was no surprise. Next up is a Twitter retweet promotion. 10 players will receive one of each 5 star dragon and then one single player will get 100 sunlight stones. That is freaking crazy. 100 sunlight stones, oh my god, imagine being the one winning that. You'll automatically become whale status. 100 sunlight stones is just insane. Those will last you for a long, long time. Whoever wins this man, gotta be really lucky. Anyways, I'm going to post the Twitter link to this promotion in the description below for those that haven't participated yet. There's really no reason not to. Go make a Twitter account, follow their Twitter, and retweet this. Next is the upcoming Gala Dragale event. I'm pretty sure most expected it to be Gala Yudin. I was 50-50 on it being Yudin or Elisan. I thought it could have been Elisan because she could have racked in the big bucks, but Yudin makes more sense, especially being a light sword, considering that High Zodiac just came out. Yudin though, let me tell you, this guy is OP. He's got everything in this kit. He's got damage, strength buffs, defense buffs, inflict status, a shield, and a whole bunch of crazy dragon effects. For example, Draconic Charge fills 50% of the user's dragon gauge when their HP drops to 30%, which means he can pretty much dragon right after getting hit by a high dragon's opening blast. And then he also has a new and improved co ability, and this is really awesome because this means that we'll get to see more improved co abilities in the future. I'm not going to talk too much about Gala Yudin because I want to save everything for uh, the separate video reviewing him after SP cost and damage modifiers get released. So look forward to that video soon in the upcoming days. But god damn, yeah, you guys got something for this guy. He's insanely good and his skill animations are 10 out of 10. Platinum Showcase, this is where you basically purchase a free tenfold ticket that will reward you with a guaranteed Gala character. I only have two of the five, so I'm most likely still going to do this Platinum Showcase. Hopefully I can get Yudin or Cerise off of this. I actually wouldn't be mad if I got Gala Ranzel since I love using sword characters, but they are all pretty solid. You can't go wrong with this unless you summon a dupe. First anniversary limited time packs, if you guys have disposable income and are willing to spend some money, then this is a great time to do that. I'm probably going to buy some of these packs myself, but not these three. I'm probably going to buy some of these ones, but it also depends on the price. I really want Leia because I love my 4 strike damage sortie, so definitely going to try to get her for free. Not sure what dragon I'm going to summon for free, but right now I'm kind of leaning heavily towards Popstar Siren, but we'll see. Social Reward Counter is getting reset again, and you can earn up to 2,500 Wormite from just doing co-op with random people in pubs. This is like the third or fourth time this has been reset. Really good stuff, can't complain about free Wormite, more ammo for Galayudin. New event coming up called Fractured Futures. You got this Chad looking guy here with a black dragon. You get Quantum Cogs the first time you clear the EX raid, and you can use that cog to trade for one 5 star tier 3 elemental weapon of your choice. 
I think it's really cool that they're giving out free 5 star tier 3 weapons. They're pretty difficult to craft as a new player, it's really grindy, so that's going to be great for new players. I'm not going to recommend anything, just pick whichever one you want. We are getting 3 new stickers, 3 cheers from me, Sup and Bravo. I'm probably going to replace Hey with Sup. Bravo is actually looking like a really toxic emote. I'm sure people will use it in a negative way just like the good job sticker but yeah I'm personally going to include Sup and Bravo into my stick catalog. 3 cheers from me doesn't look like a sticker that I'll use often so I'm probably going to leave that one out. And that's about it for everything that's in the first anniversary event. Now let me cover the future update stuff. We are going to get Expert and Master difficulty High Dragon Trials. Apparently the new difficulty will add new moves and patterns to the High Dragon. So that's really cool that they are doing this so it's not just a beefier version of the original. You actually have to relearn their patterns and stuff. High Dragons will also start to drop materials in order to craft High Dragon weapons. These weapons actually look really sick. Apparently these are stronger than the 5 star tier 3 elemental weapons so this is the true end game. This is what we are going to be working and farming towards whenever this stuff gets released. I was actually wondering when we would be getting better weapons since some of the elemental weapons have really bad skills and I guess this is it. This will give us more incentive to farm High Dragons, especially the older ones like High Midgard and High Brunhilda. They are also adding a time attack ranking event. This is for expert High Dragon trials only I think. I'm kind of iffy on this because whenever games add any competitive component, then that's when the phrase pay to win gets thrown around. I'm not going to speak too much on this until we see rewards, but I actually do like the concept of a ranking system based on clear times. Perhaps it'll have something to do with the alliance feature, that would be cool. 6 tier for mana circles will be added. Basically, you can upgrade your characters furthermore, including their skills and abilities apparently. I'm curious to see what the upgraded skills and abilities are for each character. I'm also curious to know if this is a feature for every character or is it just locked to certain ones and will be expanded progressively. For now, it seems like a big Eldwater sink so hopefully we have more opportunities to earn Eldwater in the future. Big news here is that new bosses that are more difficult than high dragons are in development. One of them was shown off and apparently these new bosses aren't dragons. Maybe they are people that are fused with dragons or something, I don't really know but I am looking forward to this. I really hope that they are challenging and they bring new mechanics to the table to kind of like spice up the game. Last but not least, we are getting a Mega Man collab during winter. I did not see this coming at all. I had a hunch that we were getting some sort of information about a new collab, but I never expected it to be Mega Man. That just seems so weird and out of place. Mega Man just doesn't fit the Dragali theme, which is a fantasy theme, so I'm very surprised. I guess the idea isn't so far-fetched since side games have partnered with Capcom before in their other games. I believe Shadowverse and Grand Blue Fantasy both had collabs with Street Fighter, but it's still a bit weird to see Mega Man because he's so sci-fi. I, for one, am a Mega Man fan, but I'm more of a fan of the X series. Mega Man X4 was one of my favorite games as a kid. I would have loved to see Zero in the game as a sword character, but unfortunately that won't be the case. I've actually never been a fan of the original Mega Man game, so I'm kind of neutral on this. I'm really curious to see what kind of character the Mega Man characters will be. Obviously, Mega Man is going to be some sort of ranged character. Probably a bow that shoots little pellets out of his buster or something like that. Maybe a wand design fits him better because Mega Man is known for his buster and his charge shots. I think a buster charge shot 4 strike fits a wand style better than the bow, but I don't really know, we'll see in the winter. They pretty much have to give him some sort of unique design like Veronica. There's no way that we'll see Mega Man carrying a bow or a wand, that would be whack. And yeah, that's all the notable info that we got from the Dragalia Digest. Let me know in the comments what your favorite news or update is from this live stream. Also, lots of content coming soon on this channel so be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.